Dating can be really weird and difficult sometimes. I mean, I'm not an authority on the subject because I haven't dated tons, but at my age, I've dated enough to know that it could be a very interesting and intricate experience because you kind of get to meet the person twice. The first time is the perfect person, the one that's all smiles, that's sweet, romantic, that they go all out. And then you get to meet the real person who could sometimes be a little short-tempered, sort of high maintenance, possibly insecure. Just kidding, but you know what I mean. But you know what, if you wanna meet someone, you kinda of have to go through it and you kinda of have to get through this so you can get to the good stuff. So basically, you know, the ice must be broken, the bridge must be crossed, and the pie must be eaten. Is that enough cliches for you? Okay, let's go. Hi, I'm Maite, and I'm the author of the book, Sortera. Sometimes when things don't work out, they actually end up working out for the best. I welcome you and your friends to my world of Sortera. This is our time. I guess for obvious reasons, and since you guys know that I was married for so long to the same guy, never really dated before. I met him when I was 15, so he was my first, uh, my first actual date date was at age 50. So I get asked all the time, so how did you get started? How was it? When you started, was it scary? How did you do it? Step by step. Speak. Okay, so I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna give you a little rundown of how I did it, how it happened for me, and then maybe you could take from this and make it a little less scary for yourself. <laughs> for me, when I started dating, it was actually a conscious decision. It was like flicking a switch. When I first got divorced, I was in lockdown for an entire year. I would watch TV every day, come home from work, sit on my couch, I would watch HGTV, I binge watched uh, Game of Thrones, which was awesome, I, I Downton Abbey, reality shows, you name it, I watched it. But once I made the decision to actually maybe explore dating, it was like if the universe knew it and all of a sudden there were dating shows. And that kind of gave me like, not training, but it kind of like calmed me down. So I decided to sign on for online dating. Then I met other people and it's history. Once you start doing it, it, it becomes more relaxing and you actually start to enjoy it. You know, first you gotta feel a certain way about yourself. and. Once you do, you know, once you're ready and you've got the girly going and everything, then you take the step. I promise you, once you take the step, you won't regret it and it's always in your control. If it's too much, you, you know, hold back. If not, then you just go out and have fun and enjoy it because that's what it's all about. <laughs> Okay guys, I get you. I'm a girl too, remember? So you're preaching to the choir. Let's get over all the excuses. Sometimes you feel like you gotta be ready on the outside in order to feel worthy and beautiful on the inside. And that's fine. It's the same for guys, minus the makeup. So if there's an excuse, let's take it. Let's go shopping, let's go get makeup, let's get ready on the outside so ultimately you feel good in here. Because at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. Even though at the end of the day, it's all fate, sometimes it happens in the strangest, most unexpected ways. I've been approached at Starbucks, at Panera, at the Publix, at the beach, on the street. I've even had the random booty call. I've been reached out to through another person, uh, contacted through social media. I even met my ex-husband when I was 15 years old through a prank call. 
if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. You can't do anything to make it happen. <laughs> you just have to sit back, open your heart, and let the universe know you're ready for it, and it's gonna develop in front of you. Hey guys, so if you like this episode, please like and subscribe. If you can leave me a comment, that would be awesome because that helps me a lot. Something with the algorithms and, and the videos get out a little more. So I really appreciate your watching my episodes and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Besitos.